Black Women for Beginners by S. Pearl Sharp Illustrated by Beverly Hawkins Hall Let's pick up where we left off. In 7-Eleven, those handsome Moors went all the way to Europe to conquer Spain. Then they missed that home cooking and sent for their women. Black men and women ruled Spain for seven centuries, imprinting the literature, architecture, and culture. In the Portuguese runs a deep current of Negro blood, and there the Negro has often risen to the case of the nobility. Napoleon's army had many small black Portuguese soldiers. Merchants purchased Negroes as servants. In all large cities of commerce, there were several hundred blacks, and many a house was known simply as At the Moors. From Bernold Springer, Racial Mixture as the Basic Principle of Life. Germany, 1940. which is how we came to have black blood among the royalty of Europe. This is a picture of Queen Charlotte Sophia, born 1744, died 1818. German-born wife of England's George III, described by court observer Walpole as, not a beauty, nostrils spreading too wide, mouth has the same fault. Of course. And vice versa. San Merit Pore, a bona fide black Jew, and her German Jewish grandmother, Elizabeth Cohen Johnston. San, a culinary arts specialist, keeps kosher in her home. I know this is a little rough on some of you, so go make a cup of tea, stay calm, and stay tuned. Exploration, a hard time. Colonialism, a bad time. Slavery for a long time. Imagine going to the market and finding out that you are the item on sale. Sold! Starting in the late 1300s, the black woman was taken on a 500-year world tour without tourist status. She was taken from West Africa to the West Indies to be trained for slavery, then dispatched to the United States to do her J-O-B. She was taken by Arabs from East Africa to Turkey and other slave centers around the Black Sea. She was taken to Jamaica where she fought enslavement for a century. Dubbed a maroon, she was captured in the late 1700s and shipped to Nova Scotia. In 1517, she was used to entice Spaniards to settle in Latin America. Have slaves? We'll go. This 1713 treaty allowed British control of the slave trade in Latin America. She was sent to the Dominican Republic, Brazil, Suriname, Cuba, to cut sugarcane and refine it for European tastes. The Chinese ravaged New Guinea for slaves. By the 14th, 15th century, the Muslim Indonesian Sultan of Pador was going to New Guinea for slaves for the Middle East, Turkey, and Iraq, and for exportation to the Chinese Empire. That's from Sima Dung's, The African Diaspora in Asia. She was taken from the Sudan, Libya, and Chad to Yugoslavia. Descendants could be found in Alsinge as recently as the 1950s. Only the money was counted, not the victims.
So the numbers on slavery are not in yet. But historians' wide-ranging estimates show from 30 to 100 million black women taken from Africa. This is a picture from, 19, from 1796. It's a drawing by Stedman documenting a slave's beating in Suriname. After all that, some sisters actually got back to Africa. In 1787, Maroons and Black Loyalists who were suffering in Nova Scotia accepted Britain's offer to be returned to Sierra Leone. Between 1820 and 1870, hundreds of Blacks from the Americas and West Indies voluntarily moved to Liberia, sponsored by colonization societies. Not all blacks during the period of slavery were slaves. Captured Africans survived the wreck of Spanish ships off the Caribbean coast of St. Vincent in 1635 and formed a community with the Carib Indians and slave fugitives from other islands. In the United States, some Native Americans assisted escaped slaves. Through intermarriage, a substantial group of free black Indians evolved. The number of Afro-Americans with an Indian ancestor was once estimated at about one-third of the total. In Latin America, the percentage is much higher. William Lauren Katz, Black Indians. This is a picture of Diana Fletcher, a Black Indian of the Kiowa Nation. Loyalists were those siding with the Britain during America's War for Independence. Now among them were free blacks and blacks who gained freedom in exchange for soldiering. Some 5,000 fled to Canada. More followed after the War of 1812. In the early 1900s, black families founded settlements in Alberta and Saskatchewan. This is a picture of Mary Seacole, an adventurous nurse who was born in Jamaica, schooled in Britain, nursed cholera victims in Panama with her own formula. In the mid-1850s, she found her way to Turkey, setting up mini hospital and canteen for soldiers in the Crimean War. She was celebrated in England as a war hero. Some people have called me quite a female Ulysses. They intended it as a compliment, but from my experience of the Greeks, I do not consider it a very flattering one. Through the trade of goods, the African presence in Germany predates colonialism. After World War I, the occupation forces brought their colonized African soldiers to Germany. Black men and German women produced daughters who became victims of the Nazi regime. We often heard about mulattoes being taken to concentration camps. Many colored women were sterilized. Christelle's mother hid her in a convent near Cologne. They, they got her out of there and sterilized her too. Our nephew also. That was from Doris Reprick and Eric's Varb Bekennen, Showing Our Colors, in Germany. This is a 1990 photo of a black woman, including three generations of one family. You know, estimates of today's Afro-German population, where there's no longer a census by race, range from 30,000 to 1 million. And this is now where we discuss why the confusion about the vice president elect. Where did she go? Is a question some sisters hope no one ever answers. We tried to get some first hand interviews. Skin color and assumptions have destroyed the unity of black communities worldwide. We put an ad in the paper. The one drop of black blood theory created the mulatto, the quadroon, the octoroon, the... We asked for referrals. The one drop has cost millions in miscegenation, litigation, 
and legislation from South Africa to the United States of America while filling the coffers of Hollywood. We stood on the corner taking notes. The one drop has caused much stress and heartbreak among those who want one drop and those who want to get rid of the one drop they have. We staked out family reunions and stores selling bleaching creams. Assimilation is a marked decline in African descended populations of several Central and South American countries. Brazil has the largest number of blacks living outside of Africa, yet in Brazil's 1980 census, only 5.7%, 7.5 million of the citizens claimed to be black. Now this is from a Brazilian census poster, which says, don't let your color fade into white. Don't let yourself be erased. We eavesdrop on old wives' tales. You have to marry lighter and lighter. Then the race will disappear. None of the sisters who are currently passing would agree to be interviewed for this book. We wanted to tell them that if one drop could make your whole thing truly black, then perhaps it's one hell of a drop, a powerful drop, which may be the real reason we've been forced to share it. And maybe they should rethink this. Translation on 1924 North African Post reads, Woman of Chad, white race. Oh, really? Ancient life, rooted upon its base with all its fascinating new layers of brown. Low brown, high brown, nut brown, lemon, maroon, olive, mauve, gold, yellow, balancing between black and white. Black reaching out beyond yellow, almost white on the brink of change sucked back down into the current of black by the terribly sweet rhythm of black blood. That's by Claude McKay's Home to Harlem. And now we start the second chapter, Names by Which She is Known. Young black woman, what's your name? It's pride and beauty, for I have no shame. I'm young black woman. You know my name. By Sebek Sanyinka, USA. Folks can't handle something without a name. Names that denote status, race, physical look, free or slave, and especially names with attitudes. The black woman was renamed after being discovered by colonists, by colonialists. A slave's name was often changed when she was sold, making it difficult to reunite with family or maintain a personal identity. With freedom, some declared their names invalid, slave names, and took one of their own liking. Ngungalari. Keep your Nelly strong fellow, for Ngungalari is my name. I am last and lost in this strange land that once was mine. By Archie Weller from Australia. Names become part of social rituals. Who can call what? Who can call who what and get away with it? Names can put you in boxes, class or caste, category or category, character, or they can clarify. I'm a black feminist, lesbian, mother, warrior, poet by Audre Lorde. Can I get a hey man? 
Naming should not be confused with name calling. To help you distinguish, we offer names by which she is known. A glossary. African queen, a head up black woman of the African diaspora. Auntie, the master's or overseer's name for female slaves who can no longer breed. Two, members of your extended non-blood family who loves you like you were her own. Aunt Jemima, one of the most recognized symbols of the happy mammy used to market pancakes and other domestic products to whites since the 1880s. The name Jemima once had esteem as the eldest of Job's, the Bible, daughters, and as a city in ancient Arabia named after its queen. Oset, it's the original Egyptian name for Isis. Baby, an affection identification for a lover friend, or kin. Beef, a Jamaican male's description of a black woman. Belle woman, a pregnant West Indian woman. Baleke Uma, a black woman in Suriname. Black rose, black pearl. Poetic descriptions of the black woman. Blonde Negroid, that's a term coined by European historians to describe Europeans with a visible Negro strain. Broad nose, Thick lips, also known as the Nordic Negro. Breeder, a slave forced into multiple pregnancies to increase the number of slave laborers. Candace, a translation of an ancient Ethiopian word for Kantake, a female ruler. Chamba, a black West Indian woman in Panama, often used negatively in Latin American countries. Cleopatra, a reference point, as in the Cleopatra of, applied to very sensuous black women, particularly if they have a good head for business. Cocola, a black West Indian woman in the Dominican Republic. Daughter, an affectionate identification, no age or family relationship required. Angela Davis, that too is a reference point, as in the Angela Davis of, applied to tall, politically outspoken black women around the world in 1970, sisters were arrested for being Angela, even after she was incarcerated. Diva. Black woman who gives a consistently strong performance with or without a stage audience. Eve, scientist's nickname denoting the first modern Homo sapiens. And two, in theology, the mother of all living humans, but also the first alleged transgressor. Exotic erotic. Some folks fantasy psychosis, which sees all black women as simultaneously strange, fascinating, primal, and childlike, uninhibited, earthy, sensuous, and highly sexed. You can be some of the women all of the time, but you can't be all of them. Jin, British colonizer's term for native aboriginal woman. Hey, mama. One, a warm greeting. Two, a catchphrase used by unfamiliar men, usually followed by, can I go with you? Ho, a derivative of, but less operative than, whore, since you don't have to be one to be called one. Hot chocolate, a very sexy black woman. <coughs> Isis, the mother, ruler, and most popular goddess in ancient mythology. Two, a computer database described as a standalone System. Functions include ordering, claiming, routing, loan control, and fund accounting. When stuck, click the help key and ISIS will tell you exactly what to do. If the crown fits, claim it. Light Egyptian. The makeup color used on white actresses 
hired to play black women. Lucy, a million year old, a three million year old skeleton found in Ethiopia in 1974, named by archaeologists for a Beatles song. Mama, one, birth mother, two, catch all identification for a black woman who is anything but the biological mother of the caller, usually per often preceded by pretty, little, or sweet. Mambo, a female priestess of Vudun in Haiti. Mammy, a black woman who suckles and cares for white children, usually at the expense of her own. Matriarch, historically, a woman in a social system where kinship and power are handed down through the female, redefined pejoratively as a woman who runs a household or business with a male partner and is therefore assumed to be domineering, also known as the, fe the family's female elder. My house, a contemporary possession name used by men to describe the black women they live with. Similar names include my crib or my nest. My father always had the greatest admiration for German people and their industrial in achievements. That's why he insisted on that terrible name Winifred, which became Winnie. It is a constant reminder of our oppression. My African name, Nomzamo, means in Oksa, trial. Those that in their life will go through many trials. And that's from Winnie Mandela's Part of My Soul Went With Him. When you call me mama, do you see my woman? From Carol Stewart in Britain. Negress, the feminine form of Negro. Usage today could get you in trouble. Prike, a black woman in Suriname in the Tonga language. Queen mother, an esteemed elder black woman in the community. Queen of the Nile, an honorary title bestowed on today's black woman to remind her of her royal history before affirmative action and MTV and Fly Girls. Rock of Gibraltar, an analogy to the black woman's legendary everlasting strength in the face of everything. Sapphire, one, from the Hebrew Sapphira, a precious stone metaphysically representing truth and that which is beautiful. Two, a sassy black woman who calls it like it is, usually seen with her hand on her hip, even when it isn't. Sister, 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 the most popular identification for a black woman. Harriet Tubman, that too is a reference point, as in the Harriet Tubman of, that's a black woman who gets the job done, but despite all odds. Yaya, an old woman, the word is preserved from the Bantu language. The slave Bell renamed herself Sojourner for the path she had chosen and truth for her mission. And that is the end of chapter two. I hope you'll be willing to come back again next week for chapter three when we're going to go into the beauty bank. Beauty is here because I am here. See you next week. Take care and stay safe.